creating your powerful brand logo. In this lesson you're going to learn why your logo is important and also how you can get it created. Why do you need a logo? Well your logo is a very important aspect of your brand. It can be the first thing your prospective customer will see. Think about Starbucks or Apple, you can instantly picture their logo. Now that example might seem extreme, but there is no reason your logo can't be just as memorable. So how will it be used? Your logo is going to be very visible, but where? On your product, this is likely. However, it will depend on the type of product you have. On your packaging, again, it's very likely. In fact, more likely than being on your product. On your website, definitely. You are definitely going to want to have your logo visible on your website and on your social pages. Again, you're definitely going to want to have your logo on your social pages like Facebook and Twitter. So as you can see, your logo is a valuable asset because it's going to be very visible. What you need, you are going to have a designer created for you unless you just happen to be a graphic designer yourself. The designer will do most of the creative work, but you will need the following. Your preferred color scheme, the look and feel, in other words, whether your logo is going to be edgy, professional, youthful, refined, etc. And an idea of what your market might respond to. And if you're not sure about that, go and look at other brands in your market and take a look at the kind of logos they have, getting inspiration. So if you are not especially creative, you can get ideas easily. As I just mentioned, use the internet to look for companies or brands in your market. Look at their logos. Now, do not copy them, but just use for inspiration. Now, there's no need to get hung up on this because your designer is probably going to be able to give you some valuable input. They do this for a living. Logo design tips. Make sure the logo is easy to read or recognize. Also, make sure the logo works well on a light and a dark background. And simpler is better. Don't try and create a very complicated type logo. Apple is the perfect example of simplicity. Where to get your logo designed? There are a huge number of places online you can get your logo designed. But we are going to look at two services at the opposite ends of the market. Now you do not have to use either of these two services, you can find your own. Simply search Google for logo design, if you prefer. Fiverr. Fiverr is a site where providers offer all kinds of services. These services are called gigs. For a logo, you're normally going to expect to spend between $5 and $20. So, what's good about Fiverr? Well, it's fast and cheap. As you can see, you're only going to be spending between $5 and $20, and the turnaround time is normally very quick. And with most gigs, you can even pay a little bit extra to have it come back even faster. The not so good. You're not going to get the highest quality. And you're only going to have one designer per gig. In other words, when you choose your designer, that's it. You've got one designer. Now, obviously, you could choose to pay for more gigs and have more designers. But generally speaking, you're only going to get one designer per gig. 99designs. 99designs is a site where you post a job and designers submit their design. Now this is not just logos, they do websites and all other kinds of graphic design. The cost, $299 plus. So the good? Higher quality and large number of designs. Basically you submit your job and a group of designers will submit their designs matching your job. At the end you only have to pay for one. So if 30 people submit their designs, you're getting to look at 30 different designs before you'll have to make a choice. The not so good. It's more expensive, obviously it's a lot more expensive than five to twenty dollars, and sometimes slower. It can take five to seven days or even longer. Quality versus cost. Obviously there is a big jump in cost here between Fiverr and 99designs. If your budget is limited, then go with Fiverr. You can come back and change your logo. However, remember you will have to change your packaging if you make a major change to your logo. Just remember, your existing inventory for your first product will still have the old logo on the packaging or the product. However, it is an option if your budget is low. So let's go and take a quick look at these two sites. Okay, so the first site we're going to look at is Fiverr.com because it's very straightforward. Now I've got an account here and I've logged in. So all I need to do is go to the search bar and type in logo design and hit search. Okay, so logo design in and hit search. 
Now the first thing you want to do is over on the right hand side here where it says sort by you want to click on relevance and change it to average customer review. So this will basically be the jobs that have the best average review. However do be careful because some jobs or gigs might have only got three ratings so it's going to be easier for them to have a higher rating. But if we put our cursor over any of these jobs you can see it gives their name, the number of reviews they've got and the average rating. So this one here you can see I will do minimalist logo design and it's not a bad looking logo. As you can see she's got 209 reviews and she's averaging probably about four and a half stars. Now you can take a closer look. You need to do is right click and open it in a new tab. Look for logos that grab your interest like I quite like the look of this one. And if I look above she's actually got 274 reviews and she's averaging five stars. So that's another one I would look at. So I'm just going to open that in a new tab. And basically just carry on like that. Look for logos you like the look of. Open them in a new tab. And then you can go and look at them. Now if you remember she's got 209 reviews. She has got 103 orders in the queue. Kind of makes me think it's going to take a while to get this done. And you can actually see that under price. You can see basic is $5. Standard which is what you're going to probably going to need at least is $10. But it's four day delivery. Now you can see other examples of her logos. I actually quite like the look of the way she does logos. And is someone I would probably consider. But I'm going to scroll down. And there we can compare the packages. You can see the differences between paying five, ten, and fifteen dollars. So you'd have a look and see what they've got. Now, where possible, you're going to want a source PSD file or vector file because you will need that if you want to put your logo on the packaging. So you can see the basics going to be no good for that. The standard, so it's got the source file and it's got the vector file, high res, 3D mockup. So it's all looking good. A number of logos included for that means she'll do four different designs and you pick one of them. This designer actually looks pretty good. The only thing that would worry me is the four day wait for the turnaround but in saying that you're probably still waiting on suppliers talking to them about packaging or or even getting samples. So you've probably got time to do this but she's somebody I would consider and we'll take a quick look at the second one. You can see their basics $30. And they've got 185 orders in the queue. There's a reason these people have the highest rating. So they've got a lot of people wanting to order from them. But as you can see, these two people, for instance, their designs look very high quality to me. In fact, much higher quality than I've seen before when I've been to Fiverr. It has been a long time since I've used Fiverr for logos. But from what I'm seeing, I'm actually very impressed. So if we go down to compare packages. Remember, we're looking for that vector file. She does it for all of hers and the source file for all of hers which is pretty cool. At the basic level you only get one choice. Standard you get two and premium you get three. So again it's a question of what design you want and you can see here for some reason the gold package you can't speed up but if you chose the VIP package or the basic package for that matter you can pay an extra ten dollars check that button and you'll get it in one day. But that's pretty much all there is to it. To go through an order you just click on select and follow the instructions it's very very straightforward. But that's Fiverr and I, and I have to say I'm actually quite impressed by the quality and I might come back and look at some more later to see if it's an overall improvement or whether I just happen to have picked two really good people. But I'm going to close all the Fiverr windows and we're going to go to 99designs. So 99designs, the way this works is you basically submit your design job for your logo and then designers on this site will come in, look at your requirements and create logos for you that you can look at. And then basically you pick the best one. That's all there is to it. It's almost like crowdsourcing. But we'll go and take a look. So to get started you just click on get started. Now by all means click on the how it works and watch for yourself exactly how it all works. But it is pretty straightforward. But I'm going to click on get started. It's going to ask me what I want. I don't want a hosted website or brand identity pack. In fact I don't want any of these things. I just want a logo. So if I scroll all the way down you see here logo design from $299. So I'm going to click on that. You can actually skip this step but all they're trying to do here is get an idea of what you're looking for. In other words whether you're looking for something simple. So you can click on these. That's quite interesting. Quite like the bike. This is a little, there's a little bit too much going on in this emotive one for me. I like it kept nice and simple. It's nice and simple. It's kind of interesting and funky. And you want to choose things that you think are going to apply to your product and your brand. But basically go through these, select any you want. I've never actually tested how much difference it makes doing this or not doing this. I quite like that one. Once you've selected a bunch of them just click on continue. Now at this point you want to put your email address in because you're going to have to give them your email address anyway when you purchase. 
and also it makes sure it saves your progress. So I'm going to put my email address in and click continue your brief. Now here they're actually giving you an option to choose the kind of style your brand has. So if you think your brand is more classic then you would slide this towards classic. I'm going to suggest most brands that we're going to be using here are modern. Again it totally depends on your brand. I'm not actually using a brand as an example here so it is up to you. But for instance I think one of our fitness examples was Golden Years Athletics or something like that. So if that was my brand, then I'd drag it across to be more at the mature end. Again, feminine or masculine. For that example, it's probably not going to be a lot different, but I'm, so I'm going to put it in the middle. I'm going to edge towards sophisticated. I think older people are less likely to want a playful type image. Economical and luxurious. I'm happy with it being in the middle and so on. And geometric and abstract. I'm not too sure even what those mean and I've never actually altered them. I've always left them the same. But a lot of these settings will be different when you get here depending on what logos you clicked on in the step before this. But once you get to this step you click on continue. Now it's asking you for colors. If you don't have a preferred color scheme or the main color to be anything in particular, you can actually scroll down and click on let designers make suggestions. I actually prefer using this choice because at the end of the day I am not very creative at all so I want to see what they come up with. I'm going to select let designers make suggestions and click continue. Now the logo design brief. What language will you write in? English. What name do you want in your logo? So you put your brand in here. Do you have a slogan? For the most part adding a slogan to your logo is going to overcomplicate it. Remember we want to keep it nice and simple so I'm leaving it blank. Describe what your organizational product does and its target audience. So I've just put exercising and fitness for, for mature men and women. As you can see I've got no idea about this niche at all. Then select your industry. So I'd scroll down, I'd be looking for fitness or exercise, any of those really. Physical fitness. Do you need more than a logo? No thanks. I'll start with the basics for now. Obviously you can see you can get other stuff here. You can put some other communication in here to the designers. For instance, if you want to say, give your preference. In other words, I prefer a flat design. I don't want it over embellished. Anything along those lines. And do you have any images, sketches or documents that might be helpful? Now at this point if you've chosen a product it wouldn't hurt to send them an image of your product so they've got an idea of your product but it's not actually required. When you get to the next point you just click on continue and it's going to ask you again they're still trying to get more money even though you've skipped it three times. So you just want to select bronze. So the contest title. So just something like golden years athletic design. Now you can promote the contest. I've never actually done this. Then with contest options. This is what they call it. So you want it to be open so you click guaranteed. You're going to get more designed, etc. Duration, how long do you want your contest to run for? Standard is fine, standard seven days. It actually works better if you go for like the shorter term from what I've seen. You get less opportunities to look at designs so that you can respond and get better designs. Once you've done all that, you just click on continue. Now it's going to ask you to sign up. I've already got an account with them so I'm not going to sign up for another account and I'm not going to log in in my account because I've got multiple designs in there. So just follow all the instructions and your contest will go live and then it's just a case of picking the best one. So some tips for 99 designs. Wait a couple of days then check the designs. Fast designs are normally lower quality. You tend to see that the people who respond really quickly are just throwing something together and it's not always the best design. But go through and rate the initial designs and respond to messages from interesting designers. Now the great thing about these messages is you can make them public. So if you respond to someone you can actually suggest things from looking at the designs you've seen. So for instance if none of them really appeal to you color wise you could respond to one of the questions. I was really looking for something more red or I was really looking for something more blue. After you've done that wait another 48 to 72 hours. Go back and select the winner. So what's next? So you've now learned the importance of a brand logo and how to get it created. In the next lesson you are going to learn what a UPC is and where to get one. Action! Get your logo design ordered. That's it for this lesson. Take care.